Hello, my friends. All right, let's make that prediction with the SVR model. So we're going to create a new code cell here. And here we go. We're going to start, of course, from our regressor, from which we're going to call the predict method that will take as input. And now I'm asking you, what? What will it exactly take as input? Well, it's not directly the 6.5 level, but the scaled value of the 6.5 level, right? Because our SVR model was trained on the scaled values of the training set. And therefore, in the predict method, we must enter the scaled value of the input that we want to predict. And therefore, here, we must call our scalar x object, from which we're going to call the transform method. There we go. And then in this transform method of our scalar object, well, that's where we can enter our position level of 6.5. But remember, we have to enter it in a double pair of square brackets because the predict method expects any input as a 2D array. All right, so let's enter 6.5. And now that's not all. There are two extra things we need to do. Remember that we not only scaled the input in X, but we also scaled the output. Remember, I'll go back to feature scaling here. We made that scalar object for the input X, but also that scalar object SCY for the output Y. And indeed, we used that scalar Y object here to scale the output Y. And therefore, since the output Y was scaled, well, in order to get the prediction in the original scale, meaning the original salaries, well, we must apply a reverse scaling to that whole prediction, right? And the method that will do exactly this is a method called inverse transform. And this will exactly reverse the scaling that we applied to the output Y. All right, so let's do this. Let's call this method. First, we have to call it from our SC underscore Y object because we want to reverse the scaling of the output Y. So SCY from which we call this inverse underscore. There it is, inverse transform method. And then we will put this whole prediction in the parenthesis of this inverse transform method of the SCY object. So here we go. We add a parenthesis here and we close it right here. All right. Almost ready. We're almost ready to get that prediction, but there is one last thing we need to do and you don't need to worry too much about this. This is just for the SVR model. You won't have to apply too much of reshapes in all the other models of this course, but to avoid a format error, we must just add inside the parenthesis of the inverse transform method, another reshape, which is dot reshape and then in parentheses, you enter minus one and one. And this way we'll all avoid a format error and we'll all be able to get the prediction. All right, so that's it. We're ready to get the prediction, but first remember that in the previous tutorial, we didn't run the cell. So let's do it now to train the SVR model. Here it is. And so now if you're ready, let's get the predicted salary of the position level 6.5 by the SVR model. Here we go. Let's run this cell and we get, one hundred and seventy thousand three hundred and seventy dollars all right it looks pretty good it looks to make pretty good sense but that we will double check in the next tutorial by visualizing the svr results try to do it before me you will again have to play with the sex transform and sey inverse transform but you can do it you can of course start from the code at the end of the polynomial regression notebook at least that's where we'll start from so i look forward to this and until then enjoy machine learning